Welcome to Zephyr Yoga Inspiration. I offer these podcasts for free, and your support really does make a difference and is appreciated. To make a donation, please click the link in the episode description or visit ZephyrYoga.com. Welcome to this meditation practice. What we're going to be working with is stilling the lake of the mind. This is a meditation in which we turn our attention and focus by visualizing, seeing, sensing a still lake in the mind. Now, the methodology of how we're going to work into this imagery, first we're gonna do Nadi Shadana. And so we're just going to look at which nostril dominance is open. We've been working with this quite a lot, this Nadi Shadana and the natural biorhythm, which is that swara, and noticing the dominant nostril. So if your right nostril's open, you're gonna feel quite solar, quite active, quite um, stimulated. If your left nostril is open, you're gonna feel quite sleepy. It's a lunar quality. You're gonna feel a little bit tired. So we're going to work with Nadi Shadana in calming um, the uh, extreme um, qualities of that nostril dominance and trying to actually draw them more in harmony and balance where you sense both nostrils are kind of evenly breathing in and out, balancing out their um, uh, solar and lunar qualities. You'll notice that the inhale is quite stimulating and the exhale is quite calming as well. So there's a few layers within um, noticing how the breath and the prana affect our body, our mind, and our nervous system, and also our energy. When we um, finish our rounds of just focusing our attention on the breath flow, the sensation, um, that quality of energy and light, whether it's the inhale pattern of that invigorating, um, stimulating quality or calming, restful quality of the exhale. We're then going to lick a finger, place a drop of saliva between the eyebrows, and then draw our attention evenly through both Ida and Pingala, both left and right nostril, and just focusing on point-to-point -point breathing about two inches away from the nose to that point. So we're just going to do that a few times, focusing our attention. And as we draw our attention to the inflow, the outflow, the sensation pattern, and cultivating that quality of light, the light of insight, we then will create a sensation um, of a mudra in our face, uh, that Buddha nature smile. So when you sweetly smile, like Buddha, one, you'll notice that you get a little dopamine hit because you get um, that little oxytocin and, and flutter of a smile, even if it's a fake smile. But you'll notice that constellation, a sensation of enjoyment, joy, a little bit of tenderness, a little bit of delight within. But you'll then layer it and notice that your tongue is making that same smile. Now, the tongue is directly linked to the linguistic function of your brain. As we start to focus our attention on our tongue, we will notice when thought arises, when sounds arise and we kind of try to identify that sound, um, when you breathe in and breathe out a subtle movement of the body, your tongue will wiggle to, take, to make a linguistic connection to what is being experienced. And we're just observing this. It's not trying to manipulate or change it or, you know, we just start to notice. And so this is where the still lake of the mind comes into play. So we calm the tongue. And as we open the palate, start to soften the roof of the mouth, we then see and sense a still lake in the mind. So you make your lake as big as you need. And this lake, um, you'll probably sense it in darkness. And as we see this lake, we'll notice the surface of the lake. When thoughts, my voice will carry, you'll notice certain ripples. And as you calm the tongue with a tenderness, a kindness, a sweetness, the lake of the mind will mirror that. 
you'll notice as the body breathes, there'll be certain ripples. And then what we're going to do is from our ability to visualize, to sense and see, in the back, in the mid back of your brain, you're gonna visualize a full blue moon. Now lunar light is um, said to be very rejuvenating, very nourishing, restorative. So this lunar light reflects, and as it reflects on the surface of the lake, you'll see this light glimmer. And as you start to see and feel the mind very spacious, very open, and the light shimmer, you'll notice the certain waves. And instead of just like, still the lake, what we do is just rest in that calmness of feeling that but a nature smile, of opening and becoming willing to just rest in that quietude of your mental effort in focusing. And that lake will still, and then you'll sense light shining on that still lake of the mind. And then that light eventually starts to penetrate the surface. And that light then starts to sink into the depths of your lake. And you'll feel and sense a deepness to that depth as you draw that light down into your embodiment, into the more deeper, subtle body. And hopefully that light then reconnects to that causal experience, that spirited sense of self. And that light then fills the whole um, physical, subtle, and causal experience. And then you just bathe in light and you rest in your meditation. So that is the methodology of where I'm going to take you. So now that you have a roadmap, um, your mind can kind of settle into what we're going to do. So you can actually really feel that there is no surprises and that you're able to rest knowing what's going to happen. And all you do is just observe, drop into that witnessing state of awareness and keep curious open and just observe what is arising and falling, what that wave and how um, life affects us outside noises, random thoughts, you know, certain emotional releasings and noticing what happens and what bubbles up to the surface from that lake and starts to come up. And sometimes little eruptions need to come up and then you refocus your attention on the sweetness of the smile and bring tenderness to whatever arises. And then there is that stilling. And in that stilling, we enter an altered state of consciousness where you're able to meditate and experience, um, yeah, that sense of reconnection to what is awake and what is always there. So we will begin. Now, to work with your own swara, just check which nostril is dominant. So my right nostril is dominant, and it should be because I'm teaching. But um, you might have a left nostril dominant, or you might be lucky enough that both nostrils are dominant right now. Um, so what we're going to do, and this is always a good way of really dropping into a, um, a really quick and also um, deep Nadi Shadana balance, is you respect the dominance. So you always breathe in through the dominant nostril and breathe out through the passive and, um, and then breathe out, um, finishing your Nadi Shadana, breathing out through the dominant. So you feel which nostril is dominant. Uh, Vishnu Mudra, as you place your thumb and ring finger on the ridge of the nose, pull both nostrils open and now breathe in through both. And now exhale through both. So establishing a rate and flow in which we're going to breathe. Inhale through both. Exhale through both. Block your passive nostril. Inhale through your dominant. Block, pull your... Um, Nostril open, exhale through your passive. 
Inhale through your passive. Block your passive, pull the nostril open, exhale dominant. Inhale dominant. Block, pull open, exhale passive. Inhale passive. Block, exhale dominant. Continue and notice the inhale pattern is stimulating, invigorating. And then as you exhale, a calming, a soothing, a grounding. Noticing the prana pattern. As you focus your attention on the rate and flow and the quality of energy associated with the inhale and exhale. You may sense or feel light as you breathe in and breathe out. Physical light, mental light of clarity, light of insight. Not only aware of the nostril as you breathe in one side, but aware of the whole side of the body as you notice the effects of the inflow and changing the outflow to the other side. Notice that side of the body and the effects of the breath, the energy, and sense and feel light. Balancing out the left and right side. Balancing out that so solar and lunar quality. We're going to finish our round by breathing out that dominant nostril. calming it. Lower your hands and just rest for a moment and observe. Observe the natural state of what is happening in the moment. Notice a sense where you feel more equal or balanced through the left and right nostril pattern, the left and right side. And a certain quality of stillness, quietude. Licking a finger, place a drop of saliva between your eyebrows. And now, about two inches away from your nose, breathe up into that drop. And from that drop, exhale, follow the breath out about two inches away from your nose, you'll sense it. As you breathe in, and breathe out, noticing that the breath is the vehicle for prana this life force, this vital energy. And as you notice and concentrate it, 
Notice the sensation that is dancing across your brow, forehead. Noticing like golden threads, the breath, the prana, creating pathways in. So it's a pranadharna, which you're just focusing your attention on that vital energy, moving it. And notice when you shape your breath, you shape your prana. And as you shape your prana, you shape the mind. Noticing the effects, that quality of stillness, quietude, as you sense that light through each nostril, at your brow, forehead. And notice a tender, sweet smile. Notice the tongue making that same smile. And as you soften the palate, Open the roof of the mouth. See and sense a lake within your mind. Make it a big lake. Noticing the shore. And sense that lake within the mind. and the connection to the tongue. Notice when your tongue wiggles, the surface of the lake ripples. Now as you see, feel, and sense a full blue moon in the back of the head, in the mind's eye, and shining its fullness, its light that is healing, that is rejuvenating, and allow that light to flood the mind's eye, the surface of the lake, and sense the light glimmering, shining, a flickering as the surface of the lake ripples. You 
You might notice stories that bubble up to the surface, certain emotions, memories. As they come up, let that healing light shine, heal, care for. And with a tender, sweet smile, bringing kindness to whatever needs to be seen to surface. Calming the still lake of the mind. And as you sense that surface gleaming, allow that light to penetrate and steep that light down into the depths. See that light starting to pour down in the depths of your being. Starting to fill the body Soaking the subtle body and sense it filled with this renewing, rejuvenating light, that lunar light, healing, nourishing, and soothing. Draw that light into any darkness that all is touched by this lunar light. as you bathe in this light. Feel that you are transparent and this light shines. You become the light of the moon. And as you meditate on this light, shining, Sense this light shine so bright, it goes beyond the physical perimeter. You sense that your light is boundless, edgeless, timeless. You merge with this quality of the light of consciousness that is peaceful, serene, and tranquil. As you rest in this loving light and you heal in its presence, trust as you let go in that timeless expression of grace that is within you, around you, as you. Rest in the quietude of your effort. Trust and shine.
remaining still. Become aware of what is awake as your body, mind, and energy are bathing in light. Allow awareness to descend in and around your body, sensing the shape. And feel that transparency and clarity within. Yeah, you feel whole and complete as you are. Deep in your inhale. And lengthen your exhale. Bending your elbows, bring your hands in Anjali Mudra. And use these words as if they're your own. Let my life force be linked to my heart. Let my heart be linked to the truth within me. Let that truth be linked to the eternal. That eternal which is unending bliss that surrounds me is within me as me. And working with me and for me to wake me up to its presence in everything. As you sweetly smile, slowly sensing that quieter mind, an open, radiant heart, and a strong, vital body. Opening the eyes, lower your hands, and just softly gaze, absorbing the residue of that practice. taking the quality of your awareness and feeling with you I thank you Namaste If you would like to continue to practice find out more information about the topics discussed or to donate to this podcast please visit ZephyrYoga.com or follow the link in the episode description I thank you